okay guys we're back and in this video I'm going to show you how to find a date range of anything that you're looking for okay and to do that you simply do it with this syntax date range start date well date range colon start date and then hyphen end date now the reason why you would want to use a date range is if you want to find out what was happening between let's see in the World Series between 2000 and 2010 okay this is how you would search so you would simply type in we'll put it in quotes to get specific Oops. then we'll type in world series world series now there's something wrong right here okay we can't just put start date end date we have to convert our dates into julian time okay it's how google reads the range of dates so let me space that out and then right here at this site aa.usno.navy.mil blah 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 and I'll have this resource for you inside of the watchboard and also inside the PDF okay so going off of our first date we want to start with 2002 and we'll just pick January one and then that's all we need to do and then compute Julian date and it's kind of a process but this is the number that you want so we'll copy that and then go back to Google and then let's put that one in place we'll paste it in so let's go back so that's from oh, 2002 and now we want to go to let's say 2010 and then we'll compute Julian date and then we'll copy this and then we'll go back to Google and then we'll put in our hyphen and then we'll paste it in and then hit enter and then it'll give you all of the World Series facts from 2002 to 2000 what date did we pick 2010 2010 so this is a way of finding date ranges that way or if you want to be more specific I mean another word would be Michael Jackson and so you want to see when his hair got caught on fire I think that was back in the 80s so anyway hit search and here's all the results for Michael Jackson in between that time okay and that is the Julian date range and that's how you perform that operation in Google it gives you a range between one point to the other basically that's what it is okay so I'll see you guys in the next video